Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to the episode of Triangle Strategy. In the previous episode we did, we completed the Remember Me from this part of the story. Off screen time, I did this, the same thing with here. Today's episode, we're going to go to this side of the story because I'm just going to talk about this one character we recruited. That's someone we got in that story, but not the other. So, we have today's episode. Make sure that like button supports the channel. So, yeah. Like, as I stated before, we went to do two different routes. Hold up. And so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Esfrost seized control of the Crown City, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. I saw a part one. Does that mean we're gonna split off? Again? Um, so yeah, we got ourselves a new member on the team while off screen, and it just happened during the war. It's some guy. <clears throat> Roster. We got this guy, the advisor Julio. Because so apparently something happened, and his like, the leader that he was falling under uh, did not did not go under well, but. I showed the clip in the other episode, but in the other side of the story, we got this guy and that guy. But in this side of the story, we got these two plus him, so yeah. And we're at level 10 now, so we should be able to do the thing, so let's double check. Let's see what Anna can become. Uh, promote class. Where is she? Anna! There you are. To the assassin, huh? Do we need. How do you get the Medal of Bravery? How do you get the Medal of Bravery? It never really told us, huh? Oh, right here. So it takes 200 each. Say less. Promotion available. Do it. Congratulations on becoming an assassin. I must be ever ready. Alrighty then. Master assassin, that's crazy. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, I'm assuming that this part is where we're gonna we've gotta branch off again, whatever decision we make. As always, even from the other side of the story, we'll just do the, what we gotta do because it's still Kate. Because one side of the story, we f we went to Asfras, the other one, we went to Heisen. And who knows how the branches will work in the story. I mean, this is why we have like. Which is the button again? We got all this save data for. Well, we got a little of the save data for a reason, so hopefully it ain't too much. Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. In that case... I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. But of course, my lady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Ever eager to please, isn't he? I believe the word you're looking for is sycophant. 
Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold. And Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three high houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolfhorn is the last to hold out. But of Laura will deal with them. Prince Roland will be in our hands before long. Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. <sighs> A few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Father! Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us, and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. What has he done to us? <sighs> Three decades have passed since the end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations, became aware of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. The very people who were to share in the wealth the mine would bring. <sighs> and so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> I do not. But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head! Roland. Cordelia. The future of our kingdom is in your hands now.
Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. With the king perishes an all-too-short-lived era of peace. And in its place, one of bloodshed and turmoil. Whatever is House Teleor to do, with King Regna gone, we must find a way to preserve ourselves. Landroy, that proud fool, will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Uh, yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side, they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? The Wolforts may choose to ransom the prince to Esfrost in return for amnesty for their own domain. If it comes to that, Esfrost will either kill the prince and princess or use them as their pawns and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfrost may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. Mr. Sorsley. What is it this time, Booker? We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded, and it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the manor? At any rate, I must speak with the Hierophant at once. Minister, if I may assuage you. I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Indeed. You may have the right of it. My dear Booker, whatever would House N do without you? Send a bird to the palace. Tell them that the Holy One's faithful servant Sorsley would humbly beg an audience. At once, Master. Your Majesty, House Falks has failed you. I have failed you. Hi, House, damn it all! When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? Cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives.
It would seem things have calmed outside the castle walls. What is to become of us now? Word has it the King's Guard's been slaughtered to the last man. We must flee while we have our lives. If they meant to kill ordinary folk like us, wouldn't they have done so already? Even as frosty dogs have some honor then. Who'd have thought? Anyway, there's no point fighting. What'll be, will be. Our people seem less resentful of Esbros than I would have expected. No doubt due to the Archduke's decision to focus their attack on the castle and leave the town itself unscathed. So, the common folk won't be a problem. That just leaves the matter of the royal family. His Grace and the Crown Prince have been dealt with, and Princess Cordelia has been brought to heel. Prince Roland is the only one unaccounted for, but the men I arranged for hunt him down as we speak. Word has it there's also a sizable bounty on his head. No, he'll not last long. I knew Gustadolf to be a shrewd man, but his attention to detail is nothing short of astonishing. I have seen all I would. Let us return. Lord Serenoa, think the heavens are safe. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my lord, pray try to remain calm. His grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. Father... No... Say it is not so! Roland... I can only imagine what you're feeling now, Your Highness, but I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed. We must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simon. Hmm? What is it? Has something befallen Father? Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. He must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father, be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you, Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can, but none can say. Very well.
Do not give up hope, Saranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell... You too abandon me now? <sighs> At Gustadolf's command... S. Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. My lord, the Esfrosty army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Evlora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadolf's not taken any chances, the scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. You cannot be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Esfrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping his highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. But see, Your Highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? 
I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wool Fort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. You must decide. I cannot render a decision here and now. There must be a solution. As his vassal, I must fight to protect the prince, but as their lord, I must ensure my people's safety. We cannot hope to win against Astros, but if we do nothing to stop them, we... They're all the same thing! We can, we can't. That's all it is. I cannot render a decision here and now. There must be some solution. I understand how you must feel. My brother has put House Wolfort in an impossible position. I cannot begin to apologize. No, you are not to blame. Forgive me, I should not have spoken so. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. And with that, we'll end the episode for right here. Next episode, we're going to go to the voting episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Shrek is XTB, and I'm signing out.